All right, here we are getting ready for UFC 304 with the headline main event of Edwards v. Balil Mohammed. We are in not London. Let me change that. There we go. Manchester. We are in Manchester, England. Not in the O2. Let me change that as well. There we go. That's better. Manchester Arena. Because I think that's the only arena in Manchester. I'm not too sure. But the first fight we have on the card is Arnold Allen v Giga Chikanzi. Chikanzi. Yeah. Let's get in to the first fight. Ready. Ready. Good. Right, all eyes on almighty Arnold Allen as this round gets underway. And it sort of took him a while to resonate with his fellow... <laughs> Well, that overhand big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Look for him to go back to it here. Punch got blocked there. Oh, nice block Up in the, the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Back in the clinch, let's see what he does now. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Head off the center line, slips the punch. All right, well, good news is he rocked it. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Gets the single leg takedown, well played. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the denims. Chikaze is cut above the eye. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Trying to finish this fight. Getting worked from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. Now inside the closed guard. Watch our ball here. Oh, arms in tight. Oh, that arm is in real trouble. He's got it isolated. He's looking to finish. Getting worse with every. Oh! Cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Final second to round one. Massive shot from the top. Oh, another strike lands from the top. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. There it is, the first fight of the night. Arnold Allen ends it with a spectacular overhand knockout. So now we are moving on to the second fight of the night. Here we go for the second fight of the night. 
we have Cape v Mokelev. Without further ado, let's get right into this fight. The second fight of the night also ends in KO by Cape with a fantastic uppercut to his opponent to pick up the victory. What a fantastic knockout that was. But now we are going to move on to the third fight of the night. Here we go, the third fight of the night. We have Paddy Pimlet v Bobby Green. Ready to fight? Ready? Let's do it. All right, here's Bobby King Green ready to go for round one. It's gonna be very interesting to see how this first round plays out. At times, Green has started slowly. At other times, he has come out guns blazing. James Krause can certainly attest to that. Of course, he was knocked out by that vicious body kick back in 2013. Bobby Green ready to go here early round one. It got checked. Pinlet gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jet. Paddy the Baddy puts on a spectacular display and performance, performance should I say, and defeats Bobby Green 
via his right hand, resulting in a KO, ending the third fight of the night. Now we move on to one of the biggest fights of the night, the core main event. Here we go, the highly anticipated rematch for Tom Aspinall and Curtis Blades for the interim heavyweight championship. Well, prevailing wisdom coming in was that Curtis Blades would go for the takedown early and often, but as his striking has developed over several years now on this UFC roster, he is able to present a lot of different looks to the opposition. So let's see if Blades will go to the wrestling realm tonight or maybe strike a little bit more than we've seen in fights past. Fight behind a night jab. tonight and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. yeah it's very impressive to see him pop the jab pop the right hand just touch 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 and then boom sit down on that hook he's gonna be trying to find it again you can see him setting up his opponent trying to get the hands to drop so he can drop that hook over the top oh he gets the takedown the mound here at DC. that could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards potentially very useful when it comes to the scorecards but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown at him. Aspinall's trying for a submission here. Now he's in trouble. Oh, oh and there's the horn at the end of the... Oh, belly down now. That is a beautiful transition to try to get the finish. fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Philly Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room and it's on full display tonight. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. 
good solid strike on the ground. getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Oh, nice. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Curtis Blades. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. What a result for Tom Aspinall to retain his interim heavyweight championship in his hometown of Manchester via submission against Curtis Blades. Now we'll move on to the main event between Leon Edwards and Belial Mohammed. Here we go, the main event of tonight in Manchester, England. We have Edwards v Mohammed for the welterweight championship. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here's the bona fide welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name Muhammad. This man has been a force really ever since he stepped foot in the UFC. But over the last two years, his wrestling and his grappling and his pressure game have gone to an entirely different level. As such, he has vaulted into the top five in the world. And if he can win this fight tonight, don't look now, but Muhammad might be challenging for the title later this year. All right, feet on the hips here. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Bilal Muhammad. Strikes continue an extended grappling battle make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. Though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet and get himself out of the way. Well, he doesn't need space. Beautiful connection there on the clinch. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Remain in the round. And again, he shoots for a takedown here. Nearly got the foot to the ground. Once again, the takedown defense holds on. But he knows this. He knows that it's going to be. Oh, he might get finished here. Oh. oh, big left hand there. Beautiful. Muhammad's in half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the back? Oh, oh he was saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Doubled up on the jab there. Nicely done by Edwards. Oh, nice kick. Beautiful combination by the champion there. Muhammad's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Yeah, picture perfect shot there, DC. If he's one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, he 
gets back up with his mouth. With a dominant display and performance, Leon Edwards rightfully takes home his welterweight championship and is able to win and beat Belial Muhammad via TKO in the second round. So with UFC 304 coming to an end. Tom Aspinall has been given performance of the night submission. Manuel Cape has been given performance of the night knockout. And Arnold Allen has been given fight of the night. Alright guys, if you have enjoyed my predictions technically for UFC 304 main card and the main event please like and subscribe turn the notifications on to be notified every time I upload a brand new video like this now see you all next one peace